So what have you enjoyed most about the gallery? Very creative and a lot of um, wicked stuff in it. I have enjoyed about the gallery all the things that we've seen upstairs, like the art and the models. Uh, I really enjoyed the bit when we were looking at all the, the pictures in the gallery because I could really think about and in a wonderland or something. I enjoyed looking at the exhibits because that one with the bee poo, like where that person had put them on those sheets, it looked really nice because usually people do paintings but this time he, he used like natural things. Yeah. Over the past academic year, I think today for me is the most uh, rewarding because what happened last year was most of the work that was exhibited that was, was 2D and most of the artists had a lot of input into that work, the design and the, and the making. And this year uh, we've had far less inputs and personally I've had almost no input into the making. My emphasis has been on, on talking to the pupils and taking them around the gallery and just facilitating a dialogue. So all of the work has come from them and I think that's fantastic and they're, they're taking up space this year it's not just 3D and I think that's that's more interesting and more innovative. I think it's getting to know the children over a period of time so they don't just come once to the gallery they come a couple of times and then I go meet them in school so you build up a relationship with them and that's really nice because then you can see them their ideas growing and changing as it goes on. My favourite part is seeing so many children so excited by the work that they've produced and so obviously inspired to create things it's been great. How has working with the gallery helped with your teaching? Oh, it's been been amazing. The kids have got so much. Um, I've never seen our kids come back at, after school and at dinner time so much before. Working with Sean has kind of showed us different ways we can use coming to galleries rather than just looking at things. So it's been really good. Um, I quite like the kind of shattered glass. Yeah, um, I like the one. There was pictures of like sort of stick wooden men that like all different colours. Looking back all of it and the main thing is how because we've had three different schools so Big Wood, Robin Hood and Crabtree we kind of merged some of the projects together so some of the children have been using other children's work and they've been they've made little resource bags and so another school have been using their resource bags so I think my favourite thing about the whole project is just how it's all woven together and links lots of different children sort of four year olds right up to Big Wood secondary schools and um, the next stage is always my best bit. Thank you. Uh, Bye. Thanks guys. Bye. <laughs>